Scrappy friends, I wanted to get on real quick and make a video just giving you guys some updates and some stuff and also I have some fun news but I'll save that for the end. Um, it's been a while since I've done a face-to-face -face video. Hey look, you can see my cat over there. There. There we go. Everything's opposite on here. Um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Can you believe it's December already? And this year I am so disorganized. I usually am right on top of being ready for December daily. And even though I've been thinking about it quite a bit, I have only gotten this much done. That's it. So what I am planning on doing is I have a album, hold on real quick. So I have this album right here. It is an eight by 11 album that is nice and beautiful. And I have some of my cozy stuff in here. So if you follow me on with the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team and on like my blog and some of my YouTube stuff, I haven't put that much stuff on there from the Spiegel Mom Scraps. But um, I have some stuff. Oh, I didn't, sh I haven't shown this yet. So, um, so yeah, but I also plan on doing some December daily stuff. So I have this page. Okay. So I lied. I have this page done right here and, um, I have a layout that I did that kind of goes in with that, but I decided to stick it near my December daily stuff. So I am thinking about incorporating the 12 by or eight and a half by 10 with some of these, but I think I'm gonna cut it in half and have it like that. So hopefully the pockets will fit in there right. Uh, these are Becky Higgins protectors, but I think I also have some that are not Becky Higgins too. So, and this is not, this is American Crafts. No, we are memory keepers, sorry. But if I remember correctly, we are memory keepers was brought out by American Crafts. So I don't know. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. On um, uh, all I know is sometimes the project life sizes are a little bit different, and also it's just with the eight and a half by eleven. It's probably a little bit different, but anyway, I digress. So my idea is to add like more bigger pockets with some of the eight and a half by 11 pages. Um, definitely at the beginning of my month is usually pretty slow as far as like Christmassy things. It's just a lot of like decorating and stuff, which I haven't done any yet, which is really weird for me because usually I have my tree up by now and I'm already decorating. So I think this year is just a whole new year because of the move that we had this year in the summer. And everything so we've just been kind of doing things different and I'm okay with that we're gonna try to get a real tree this year so we'll see hopefully this week that is what we'll be able to do so I am gonna be trying to show you what I can with December daily I probably won't do everyday videos cuz I just don't see that happening um, I have I've been having a hard enough if you follow my channel uh, hard enough problems getting videos out lately um, I homeschool, if many of you guys don't know, and my daughters are doing third grade this year, and my son is in kindergarten, and that just takes up a lot more of my time than I thought it was going to. So, and that's life, right? Um, every year is different, and some years I guess you spend more time doing school and less time doing other stuff, and I'm okay with that. Um, it is very hard to get videos in because of that. So I've been kind of doing, being on the slower side of videos, getting them out. Um, but if you follow me, I am still scrapbooking. I am doing lots of stuff. I'm just not recording everything. And I'm just kind of taking my time doing stuff. So um, it's kind of sad because I really miss doing videos, but in a way I kind of am enjoying doing things a little bit different. So 
I don't know what that means as far as my channel. I never planned it to be this way. I really thought that when we got here and we moved here that I would be able to just pick right back up and do what I was doing before. And so it's kind of odd and I kind of feel bad and I kind of don't feel bad all at the same time. So, um, but I do know that YouTube was where I started and I really love YouTube and I love the relationships that I've started through YouTube. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing stuff on YouTube, just how much right now, I don't know. And so um, I know I was doing, so I'm still doing For the Love of Homemade Kits. I know a few of you guys have asked me this and I just haven't had a chance to go through this weekend because I was away. Um, in respond to some people that commented this week and stuff and I know a few people have asked so I am still doing, still doing for the love of homemade kits I am however not really doing videos for them because that is one of the things that has because I do that more for fun and for me um, I have put it on the back burner if I get a video done I get it done um, and so just lately I haven't had a chance to get videos out. I have made layouts for them. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm blogging about it, but I haven't done that very well either. So I know that this past week I didn't do anything, even though I meant to. But the week before that, I posted a blog, I did a blog post on a layout that I did. So one way that you can see what I'm doing is follow me on my blog um, or just look, be on the lookout because I try to post stuff around when I do do things, even if I haven't posted it on YouTube. So, I mean... Hopefully, maybe what I'll do, and this is, let me know if this is something that you would like. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just go through uh, the layouts that I've made in the past couple of months for the Love of Homemade Kits, and I'll just do like a share. And some of them I have process videos for, and some of them I won't. And so then you guys can kind of see what I have done. Because I have been trying to get through my... Um, kits that I've been making. I know that this week we're starting a new kit that is going to be like a mini kit that we're going to try to do for December um, using a cut file. So some of the ladies may have already posted theirs because I think they said, did we say kit reveal on the 6th? I don't remember. So either we're going to be starting sharing the layouts this week or with the kits or whatever so I'm not really sure because I usually I don't know you I haven't been getting my kits out uh until the Tuesday anyway so um but I'm gonna try to be more consistent with that just as December rolls around so that is one of the things that is on my to-do list is to get my butt in gear and to just clean up how I'm doing things and just having a couple of things that I share on a regular basis because I know you guys like that and I really like ha knowing that okay this day I have to post this and this day I have to post that um one of the other series that I have been doing that I really want to continue doing is um the double vision series with the double layouts I stopped that partly because with the holidays coming I was having a hard time keeping up and also I had been waiting for some photos to come in and then I kind of with the holidays I was like oh I kind of forgot about it so I'm hoping that some point soon I don't know if it'll happen in this month because it's so busy in December with December daily and all my other stuff that I'll start that I might start it and then start posting in January but in January I will be continuing that I may only do it every other week though just to keep it light and simple for me so that because the double page spreads takes longer to do usually so I mean sometimes I can keep them down to like an hour and 10 minutes or so like doing the whole thing but it all depends on the plan that I go about doing it so I don't know but um, I have some ideas for that, so I definitely want to do that. 
And I know that a lot of people loved that series, so I want to continue doing it. Um, as you know, Mojo Busters has, this was our last week, last Friday, and I'm super sad to see it go because I really enjoy doing it. It was really fun working with Caddy and, um, Christy and Megan, well, me and Megan work all together all the time anyway. Uh, sorry for my dog. She wants to come in. Is she right there? No. Hey! Stop! I don't know if you can see her. She is over there. Because I'm spinning around and make you all dizzy. Um, but uh, we just finished that. We are thinking that maybe in the springtime we'll do it. Or like near the summer. Um, before Christy has her baby or right after she has her baby or I don't know. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But we weren't really wanting to continue it. Like when we started it, we did, we only wanted to do a certain amount just to make it easy for us because we all have lots of stuff. I mean, Caddy is on quite a bit of design team and I know, um, as Megan's on a couple of design teams, she's on a few, but, well, and we're all on Speak Open Scrap. So we all have a lot of stuff that we do, and me with the Crafty Maven and stuff. And in the new year, I definitely want to try to have more involvement in the Crafty Maven. I've been doing a lot of back scene stuff, which is what a creator does. But I really want to be more out there, and I want to get some stuff going this next year now that we've had the move and all that stuff so my brain is thinking about all that kind of stuff um speaking of the crafty maven i was just talking with sarah the today and um it's been something i've been thinking about but i'm pretty sure that we're going to do a crop coming crop coming up soon at some point so be on the look out or hearing out for uh when that's gonna happen I don't know we've kind of me and her kind of talked about some ideas of when we think it'll be good but um so if you guys are interested in that comment thumbs up let me know um also if you're interested in maybe doing um a challenge for that let me know message me down or comment down below or you can always message me on Facebook that's probably the better way to do it um, and just let me know if you want to help do a challenge because that would be really fun if we could have some of our viewers help out with challenges too um, so let me know and we can work that in um, okay so what else um, so like I said, I'm going to be working on December daily all month. I try to do as much as I can in December because I am a very seasonal scrapper. So fall starting to get done here and I'm pretty much ready to start scrapping Christmas. Of course, I don't have, I have a lot of old stuff that I'm going to try to use up this year. I haven't bought anything new because I'm on a spending freeze, which is fine because I have tons of stuff. I was looking through all the paper and I couldn't. I couldn't believe all the paper I had. Oh my gosh, guys. I was like, I didn't, I forgot I had all this paper because last year I used mostly new stuff. And so, yeah. So my goal is to get through and use a lot of the stuff that I have so that I get through and just use all of that old stuff because the longer it sits there, the less I want to use it. Um, and yes, so I'm going to be working in my album. Like I said, I'm going to try to do some fun pages, you know, just make them different sizes. Though I do want to keep it really, really simple. Simpler than last year because I'm doing a lot more as far as like design team stuff. That I didn't do last year and I just think with school and everything we'll probably be a lot more busier on that end and so getting doing a lot of stuff every day also I'm not able to print out at home every day this month yet because I need to buy ink and that is on the lower end of priorities since Christmas gifts are on the higher end of priorities so we shall see. I probably am thinking that I'm going to do like a snapfish, shutterfly, I don't know, one of those um, free prints 
I tried free prints out and I'm um for what you pay it's not that bad but the paper is a little thin than what I'm used to so I'm not sure I might try something else and see if I can get a good deal but so I'm thinking about doing that at some point through the month to get through some of my pictures but um but yeah but that's so I'm just going to be scrapping knowing what pictures that I'm going to use. I've done that before and it works. It's not ideal. And I know that I like to print off a lot of bigger pictures. I did that last year and I really loved how it turned out and I'm going to do that this year too. So, so eventually I will have to wait till I get some ink to do it at home because those are just easier to do at home. So Definitely, if I have any recommendations this year, it is to, if you're doing December Daily, having something at home that you can print off or a way that you can print off pretty easily on a regular basis, that is definitely key to having it done when you don't have any plans, <laughs> like me. So, um, also for December, I'm going to be doing a lot of Spiegelmann scrap stuff and also because we have some collabs coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Crafty Maven, I've been trying to, so if many of you guys don't know, I am the creator of the Crafty Maven and so I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff with that and um but I've been trying to put myself on the channel more so that everybody can see me since I am the creator and I'm kind of trying to take a little ownership of it. Um, even though I love the ladies who are on there and I love all their stuff and, you know, if I could just let them do their thing on there, that would be great too. But I really want to make sure that everyone just kind of knows that I'm there. And I'm not just sitting around letting everybody else do stuff. Because <laughs> I really enjoy the Crafty Maven. I love that that there's videos in different styles every day. And, you know, so why not be a part of that, right? So those are things to look forward to, too. So if you don't see stuff on my channel, it could be that I have more stuff on there. Um, I have been posting almost every week there. So, or about three times a month, three or four, depending. I am so sorry about my dog. If I had her inside, she'd be just as crazy. Hey, stop. She's not the little puppy that she was. <laughs> um, she found her boys. That is for sure. She knows that I'm sitting here. Um, okay, so I talked about the crap. I talked about my December plans. Um, Hopefully that I can get some more just regular layouts on my channel, but we'll see. I'm I'm kind of trying not to just worry about December, just so you guys know, and just kind of have fun and post what I can, and then in January start going back and doing all the stuff that I do for the love of homemade kits, um, double vision, and then maybe putting one other thing on my channel and just keeping it at three things because I don't think anything more than that I can handle for right now. Um, just because videos take a long time for me. Um, but I do like to share videos. So the last thing that I wanted to make sure that I announced was that if you guys watched our Mojo Busters, we talked about we were doing a giveaway and we have picked a winner. So I want to personally congratulate Crystal Bargis. She is the winner of our Mojo Busters. She commented on a lot of videos. Um, so she is the winner, though we did a random winner. So um, <laughs> that was quite fun and interesting and exciting as we were doing that. Um, so I want to congratulate Crystal. Thank you very much for commenting and enjoy Victoria's class. Um, make sure that you message her. Probably Facebook message is the best way, but message her and she will get that stuff. She We've already let her know who 
that you're the winner and everything. So all you have to do is just message her and she'll give you the info so that you can get your class. But for everyone else, if you haven't checked out any of Victoria Marie's classes, I hope you go and visit her site. I'll make sure in the info section that I have a link to where her classes are. She has a ton of classes now. I say a ton. She has a handful of classes over there, and I know she's constantly trying to um, put new content up, so every couple of months she has some new stuff up there, and um, I know I'm taking her holiday classes right now, and it's really fun, so, though I need to get working on that. So that is probably something that you guys will see on my channel is some layouts that I've done with what I learned in her class. It's been really fun so far. I just haven't had time to actually do this stuff. Um, our supper makes lists. A lot of it is, it's just really fun. Um, so I like the concept, but of course I'm mixing it because I can't just do one thing because I have mofo. So, um, we all do. Um, or many of us do. I applaud the people who don't. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great no December. I hope you guys continue to share on the Crafty Maven group and throughout all the other groups, all the stuff that you're working on this month, because I know I love to look on my Facebook feed and see all the pretty stuff that everybody's making. It definitely inspires me and um, it makes my Facebook feed so much better. It definitely helped during all the political stuff. If it wasn't for that, I don't know what I would have done. But anyway, onward, onward. I am going to wrap this up because I've been gabbing for 20 minutes, which is pretty good for me. And I hope, like I said, that you guys are having a great December. I hope that you're warm and healthy and happy and or cool if it's hot where you are. Um, and I hope you look forward to seeing all the fun experiences that we are having, I am having on in my life <laughs> this December because it is different this year. My kids are very much hoping for snow and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm pretty sure we will not have snow in December. So anyway, so if anybody wants to pray for snow, a freak snowstorm, go right ahead, I guess, as long as I don't have to shovel it, I guess, is all that matters. But I will see you guys later, and I hope that you guys have a great day and a great week, and I can't wait to see you later. Bye!